kuhusu mvua ikinyesha tungeomba serikali itengeze drainage sababu maji hapa yanapita hata wateja wakitaka kuingia kwa duka wanashindwa kuingia kuna kuwa na mfuriko wa maji sana hata ukifika ndani ya Malindi mgeni yote akiingia anaona si heshima kuwa na maji ya mfuriko na barabara ziko nzuri zimetengezwa lakini hakuna mitiririko ya maji kwenda katika drainage ili yapate kwenda katika mikondo yake tungeomba serikali ishughulike na hiyo mikondo ya maji ili kusudi kuwe na kusiwe na flooded nyumba zingine zinaanguka sababu ya maji mvua ikinyesha siku moja mbili kumekuwa hapa kupitiki tena si kwa magari wala si kwa miguu na watu wa biashara wengi wanaathirika katika hii mvua ambayo inanyesha tungeomba tupate support kwa hiyo drainage ile kazi tumefanya leo tumejaribu ku unblock hizi drainage ambazo ziko hapa because ukiingia Malindi utakuta ukifika like kanu office kuna maji mengi yamebaki hapa kwa barabara hapa kwa total protection kuna maji yamebaki so the challenge was kwa hizi drainage ambazo ni block hapa so tumesaidia na vijana wenzangu tuko unblock hizo drainage na sasa hii sasa hii ukipita and uh, unaona maji sasa yanatembea vizuri na hakuna hizo jam tena za magari ambazo zilikuweko so we, we are just trying to appeal to the to the national government uh, to try kuona ni vipi hii roundabout yetu ya Malindi ama hii drainage system yetu ya hapa itatengenezwa vizuri because sasa hii msimu wa mvua imeanza na we are going to have long rains so we expect there will be a lot of uh, water stagnant within the roads so we are appealing to the national government to uh, come in hand so that tusaidiane na wao vile tutaweza kusaidia ku unblock hii drainage yetu ya Malindi we are also asking our citizens to be responsible iko umeshikilia uh, kitu ambayo ni ya plastic these things are as 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 yozi so tunauliza tu ikiwezekana kama wananchi wa Malindi wakazi wazuri wa Malindi ikifika kama kuna kitu umeshikilia ni ya plastic hakisha unaweka mahali ambapo kuna dustbin ambayo inaweza kaenda kakuwa discarded vizuri unlike tufanye kurusha because most of those things tumepata kwa hiyo drainage ni mifuko ya plastic ambayo iko hapo ndani so tunauliza we know there's a rule ambayo imewekwa Kenya kuhusu mambo ya plastic uh, so we want the government to review this law kuhakikisha kwamba mambo ya kutumia plastic inakuwa banned completely because hiyo ndio inajaribu ku, 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 ku block hizo drainage na pia inaharibu mji wetu wa mali uh, we are also trying to see if the county government can come in they have their enforcement agencies ambazo ziko kwa county government na pia national government tujaribu pia kukuja pamoja ni jinsi gani tutahamasisha raia na pia wao wakuwe na laws ambazo zitasaidia ku curb this madness ambayo inaendelea katika Malindi. Uh, we've been having a problem ya drainage system kidogo hapa wakati watu walikuja ku I think uh, uh, guys of Kenha wakati walitengeneza barabara hapa walikuwa wameacha shimo kubwa sana hapa. Na we had to do it ourselves so that at least drainage ikuwe sasa lakini still uh, bado kuna kuna shida kubwa sana hapa. And I would like uh, the guys in charge of the roads waangalie waone hii barabara zikitengenezwa wasiache namna hii maana we are getting a lot of problems here kama kumenyesha hapa unaangalia hii hapa pote pana kwa ni maji tupu so it's become so difficult eh? Eh, kama drainage ni mbaya because the cleanliness starts with the drainage and the drainage system kama ni mbaya definitely we are inakuwa ina, kuna shida sana so i thank the guys of uh, Malindi stakeholders they have done a commendable job in uh, trying to clean but all in all if there is no drainage system the cleanliness will never be okay so this is a problem we are having with the uh, 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 Kenya roads guys they should be up their game a, a little bit so that we can have uh, we, we can uh, avoid such things which are happening